What's up everyone and welcome to another Splatoon 3 related video. This time it's on the Samurai trailer that was revealed at the Nintendo Direct um, as of yesterday. So here are some things that I missed myself. So I went back and did some research to see what I can find uh, that wasn't so obvious and uh, just analyzing some things that uh, came up in the trailer. Without further ado, let's start. Number one, um, we all know this, but Splatsville is a desert, so after Chaos 1, everything went to destruction, I'd like to say, instead of futuristic um, on Marina's side. So everything went to a desert type biome. Uh, we can see one of the stages is literally a desert. Um, Splatsville is like a Flounder Heights, it's in a desert too. But um, yeah, right off the bat, we spawn in a helicopter um, when we come to the stage. So there's no more boats, but well, you can see we're surrounded by water, but clearly we're flying through a helicopter because we're flying over from Splatsville all the way over to where these salmon run stages are. And um, there's no water except for the dirty water where the uh, salmon, uh, the, the bosses, all those people come out of. Second, we have gameplay of the crab tank. The crab tank was showed off a bunch of times um, in the two other trailers. It wasn't really showed off, but they showed off the um, the gist of it. But this time we actually get to see gameplay of the crab tank. And you could see there's two different firing modes. One, a rapid fire, and the second one, I'm assuming, a charge shot. So I'm assuming you can't do both at the same time, just one. Um, but I think that's a really cool feature. They actually showed it off. Um, also, along with that, you could see the special meter is now in increments now in the top right. It's just different UI. It's not really something new. I'm sure all you guys seen it. But yeah, there's actual um, increments now to see if, uh, if you need some more ink, whether you're playing rank mode, um, see how close you are to your special without just gauging the meter. You could actually see how close you are to it now, which is actually really cool. The fourth thing is the fish sticks and the moz knockoff, I like to call it. Uh, fish stick is a new boss, which is really weird. Um, it does remind me of tower control. You climb up the tower and you shoot at the salmons just like floating around you, which honestly that boss is kind of useless, I feel. But what am I to say? Um, and the other one is the Moz knockoff, which is called the flipper flopper, uh, which also reminds me of splat zones where you have to ink the zone. Well, not ink the zone, you have to ink the circle in order to kill the flipper flopper or he's not gonna die he's gonna kill you that one too I feel it's kinda unnecessary um, the bosses in well not the bosses but in Splatoon 2 the salmon bosses um, I feel they were pretty good you know they were really annoying um, annoying as in like a good boss so I like to see all of them return but I'm not sure that all of them are gonna return you see the stingrays returning as well as the um the uh, the big headed dude whatever it's called where they throw the bomb um, I feel like rain might return too because that was super big um, killing most of the people but then again with this fish stick boss it might not return only because with the fish stick boss it goes in a circle circulating rain pretty much number five we got charge egg toss like Splatoon 1 um, I mentioned Splatoon 1 because the longer you would hold your bomb the further it would go if I'm not mistaken so similar to Splatoon 1, Splatoon 3 with the egg toss, you have to charge it up, I'm pretty sure, to throw it farther. Um, I also did watch Prochara's video. Uh, I am kind of biting at it, but still, you have to charge up the egg and you have to throw it further and further. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think the egg toss won't be broken and that was a good way to make it more balanced, so to speak, uh, as well as, you know, just actually help your teammates out now because instead of Splatoon 2 where you'd have to where you couldn't throw eggs at all um, instead you'd have to go to the basket yourself and now you can throw the eggs in the basket from long range pretty sure so yeah I think that's pretty cool number six we have the same game sounds and I'm talking about death and communication um, I'm gonna just play some clips here And yeah, you can tell that they're the exact same. I don't expect, well, let me start over. As Splatoon 3 comes out, it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch, the same platform as Splatoon 2. So I don't expect much because in reality, 
there's not going to be much different. It's the same engine. It's the same console. And we all know the Nintendo Switch is kind of weak, so you can't really do much on there. So I'd expect them to change a little bit of things, but not everything entirely. Because after all, it is Splatoon 3. Um, it's coming from Splatoon 2, so clearly they might recycle some, some communication, death sounds, sound effects, all of that. So yeah. Number 7, we have the Charger Glow and the Laser. So in one of the trailers, the Charger would actually glow and it wouldn't have a laser on the opponent um, who you're trying to splat. So I think that's pretty cool. And now in Salmon Run, it has a laser. Uh, this entirely makes sense because in Splatoon 2 Salmon Run, uh, you'd have a laser regardless, um, especially in the, uh, the fog mode too. When it's foggy, you'd have a laser and it'd actually be red. That way you can see who you're aiming at. Um, and who you're shooting for eggs. So I think this is going to stay in Salmon Run. Um, though with the actual game coming out online, uh, rank, turf, all that, um, the laser isn't going to be there only because stages don't have hazards like that, such as fog, rain, snow, none of that. So yeah, I think that was a pretty cool incorporation. Eight, we have new snatchers. So in Splatoon 2, sorry I keep mentioning it, but in Splatoon 2 we had the Snatchers, I don't know their names, but they would just take the eggs, maybe two or three at a time, and then they go back into the water, and clearly you can't get the eggs back. Um, but in this trailer, actually, the Snatchers are really floating now, um, and they have three stacked on their head or their arms, wherever it is. Uh, I think that's actually really cool. Um, though I don't like this because it is going to be hard to kill some of them. Say you're playing a shorter range weapon, maybe a shooter, maybe a slew splash. Um, it is going to be harder to get them, so you're going to need your long range to get the Snatchers out the air. Um, and I don't know, it, they could be on ground too, and the air, but we'll have to see. So I think that was pretty cool, though looking at the downside of it, it is going to be hard to get some of your eggs back uh, if that happens. Nine, we have Squid Roll Super Armor. Now when I saw this, I know I wasn't tripping, but uh, I was watching the Direct Live, and I thought I heard the little Super Armor sound when the when the player was going back in the squid roll and I looked back at it and they squid rolled twice first of all that's something new they went from the right to the left and I'm not sure which oh it was a stinger excuse me the stinger was shooting at them right and there was super armor so I was like wow this is insane um, I hope Nintendo fixes this only because squid roll is a new mechanic in the game now so we'll have to see how that turns out, but uh, for Salmon Run, I completely agree with it. I think Super Armor should be cool, at least for that split second. Um, yeah, but I, I do hope they fix this come the real game, um, but we'll have to see. I think that was actually shocking that I figured that out. And 10, I don't know if this really counts as one, but if you guys saw the art, I am so happy. Guess what, guys? Squiffer is returning. And what a good way to end off the video. Uh, these are just a few things I saw in the trailer. Uh, I found out I had to look through. Um, did it in class. I'm trying to get this video as soon as possible. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, this was no script. <laughs> so I apologize if I'm studying. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you all in my next video or stream. Goodbye, everyone.